Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we are looking at Action Comics 994. This is part two of the Booster Shot story with Booster Gold teaming up with Superman. Dan Jurgens did the story and pencil art. Art Th Thurbert, Trevor Scott, and Johnny De J Jardins. And Joe Prada did the finished ink art. Hi-Fi did color. Rob Lay did letters. And Dan Jurgens, Trevor Scott, and Hi-Fi did the cover. Uh, the covers, it's okay. I'm okay with it. The art is a little distracting at times but overall solid you could definitely see dan jurgen's influence in it and you could tell where a lot of different people had their hand in it because of different shading and stuff like that normally when there's this many cooks in the kitchen things get a little wonky but it's actually not too bad in this one well they're still trapped in time on krypton a krypton that shouldn't be the way it is obviously jor-el and zod are working together they have a spaceport and a space fleet a whole bunch of eradicators show up to attack them and and they have to try and escape back to the time ship and get out of there before they make it a permanent timeline. Unfortunately, Superman gets a glimpse of a future that could have been where the Kryptonians survive. And he is not on Earth, but he lives a very prosperous, happy life with his parents, his natural parents aging around him. And it's a much different scenario that he has to watch die out. Now, in other bad news, Superman's not answering Jimmy Olsen's watch. And Lois has to kind of make a plan of her own to rescue her father without Superman's help. And of course that's going to get her in some trouble. Superman and Booster Gold pop out of the time stream and crash land on a planet, but they were followed by one of the Eradicator robots, and it turns out they are on Earth in Gotham City, and that's not going to end well. So we're left with a cliffhanger ending. Overall, another great issue. This is more classic Dan Jurgens. It's not heavy on the political crap and moralizing and nonsense. It's just good action adventure. I was real happy with it, and this is a much better storyline than the Oz Effect, uh, which I would just skip if i was you jump in on this storyline it's way better but it does tie in because superman is trying to verify that oz's origin was in fact the real one and unfortunately it is and he has superman has some tough realizations to come to next issue we're gonna see some more booster gold and superman action this is proving to be a very fun storyline so i'm definitely looking forward to that but i would definitely recommend this issue if you get a chance to pick it up kind of gives you enough to work with if you miss the first part so i won't feel too bad about jumping in mid story it's a good issue either way so that being said that's gonna do it for this one as always thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel be sure to hit like if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing so you never miss a review and we hope to see you on the next one